Hello everyone, we are going to review three new prank kit cards that was released on YG Organization recently. Two of them were Link Monsters, and one was a Field Spell card, which they all further progressed the prank kids archetype as a whole. First off, let's go to their first Link Monster, Prank Kids Doodle. It's a Link 2 Wind Thunder Link Effect Monster with 2000 attack. Now, it's nice for them having a lower Link Monster than the Link 4, the Boss Monster, that would make this pretty easy to summon and use the recursion effects from Drop, Ramp, and Pulse. The Link Arrows on left and bottom. So, not the best, not, not the typical Link 2 arrows, but in this archetype, I don't see you really needing that many more downward pointing arrows. I would think you'd have one or two fusion monsters or another link monster out. It's not the worst thing in this archetype, that one arrow pointing down. The effect reads, you can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. Effect 1. If this card is link summoned, you can add one prank kid's spell trap card from your deck to your hand. Now that effect is really nice. Especially since you have a way to search out the field spell, which we're going to assess later on, and the fusion spell card, which if you summon Prank Kids Doodle with your Prank Kids monsters, there will be recursion coming from the Prank Kids that you use to Link Summon, which will bring out more Prank Kids. You can search out the fusion card and be able to fusion summon right then, there, or later. Now that's pretty nice. I do like that, I'd say. And also, it says one Prank Kids spell slash trap card. I mean, they haven't had any trap cards released, so I'm interested to see if they have any more trap card support in the future, since right now they mainly have all this extra deck support, which is always nice, but it's hard building a deck if you have no main deck cards. If you only have one fusion spell card, or two spell cards, three monsters, but then you have six extra deck monsters, it's hard building a deck around that. The second effect reads, you can tribute this card, then target two prank hits cards with different names in your graveyard. Except Link Monsters, add those cards to your hand. So it looks like the second effect is just going to be the stereotypical effect for the Link Monsters for this archetype. Their boss Link Monster, Boragon, I believe his name is, has that same second effect that we can add Prank Kid cards from names from our graveyard to our hand. And so does Prank Kid's Doodle. It appears that similar to the fusion cards that let you special summon to the field, this lets you add more resources to your hand, which is nice because you can always recur maybe the Prank Kids Fusion card or your Field Spell card. It looks like the Link Monsters in the archetype is more geared towards recurring the resources of the Spell and Trap cards, well, hopefully a Trap card is going to be released in the future, to use them later on than it is for the Fusion Monsters to just Special Summon Prank Kid Monsters to the field. Which I like those two different aspects that Link Monsters are geared towards adding maybe the Fusion card back and other Prank Kid cards. All right. Let's go on to the second Link monster that was released. It is called Prank Kids Bow Wow. I love the artwork of the whole Prank Kids archetype. They're just so amazing. It again is a Link 2 Fire Pyro Link Effect monster with 2000 attack. And the links are right and bottom. Again, similar to Prank Kids Doodle, it doesn't have the two typical arrows for Link 2 monsters, but this isn't the worst thing. The effect reads, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. First effect. Prank Kids Monsters, this card points to, gains 1,000 attack. Alright, pretty much to help try to beat over cards. I mean, the Prank Kids Extra Deck Monsters aren't that terrible with attack to try to help beat over or try to push for game. You might want to summon this card, because if this points to, let's say, Prank Kids Doodle, Prank Kids Doodle has 3,000 attack then, which can help push for game, since the main deck monsters of the Prank Kids don't have that high of attack. So I guess you want to summon this if you're trying to push for game and just need that little extra umph. The second effect reads, during your opponent's turn, quick effect. You contribute this card that target two Prank Kids monsters with different names in your graveyard, except Link monsters, add them to your hand. Also, Prank Kids monsters you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's effect this turn. I do have to say, I like the extra add-on effect that Prank Kids monsters you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's effects. So you might use this effect, maybe if your opponent is trying to board wipe you, you can tribute this monster off, add some more materials to your hand, and let's say they play a Regeki or Dark Hole, your monsters won't be destroyed then if you have Prank Kids monsters on the field. I'm just wondering why they only added on that extra effect on this Link monster and not the others. This gives Prank Kids Bow Wow a little extra diversification. 
from the other Link monsters. Which is more reason to use Prankit's Batwile than just to spam out Prankit's Doodle. Overall, I like both Link monsters. I like how they're Link 2, and the, so they're pretty easy to summon. And I really like the adding effect of a Prankit's Doodle for its first effect, that we can add a Prankit's Spell Trap card. That's just so nice being able to search out any Spell Trap card from the Prankit's archetype. Prankit's Doodle's effect is only limited by how good the Spell and Trap cards in the Prankit's archetype will be. Going on to the last card, it is a field spell card called Prank Kid's House. The effect reads, you can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn. This has three effects. First, when this card is activated, you can add one Prank Kid's monster from your deck to your hand. You know, that's always nice having Voda. I mean, that's why Voda is put at one. So on activation, you can, you can search out Drop, Ramp, or Pulse. Maybe you have two of the three and you need to summon the Fusion Boss monster, Battling Butler. And so this further le makes it easier to summon that boss monster, or you just need more materials in your hand, so a Rota's never bad. The second effect reads, once per turn, if you fusion summon a Prank Kid's fusion monster, you can have all monsters you control gain 500 attack. Again, this is going with Prank Kid Bow Wow, with trying to maybe push for game, give it a little extra attack on all your monsters so they can attack, maybe OTK your opponent, or try to get over your opponent's big monster right there. I mean, it's always nice that these cards synergize with really trying to OTK an opponent right then and there. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. The third effect reads, once per turn, if you Link Summon a Prank Kid's Link Monster, you can have all monsters the opponent controls lose 500 attack. Now, if you are able to Fusion Summon and Link Summon a Prank Kid Monster in one turn, which I wouldn't think why you wouldn't be able to, you could potentially, that would be a thousand point swing which will be huge in trying to OTK an opponent or get over some big monsters. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. I like how Prank Kid's House synergizes with the rest of the archetype with encouraging to try to OTK your opponent at once, but also with the first effect being Nevoda. That is always nice adding consistency to a potential archetype because so often every archetype has a big play, but just very hard to conduct since their consistency isn't there. Now, if Prankits has a couple more spell or trap cards as to the consistency, like Prankits House, I can see Prankits end up being maybe like a tier 2, tier 2.5 deck, overall deck that can go to regionals, potentially top there in a format that, that isn't having a big oppressive deck like Goki's right now. And I think it has some potential to do well in the regional circuit. I mean... At the beginning, I didn't think this deck would overall come together. I thought it was just going to be another glass cannon, but this might be a glass cannon with consistency. And as time has showed us, if any deck's consistent enough, it could potentially top at regional because anything can happen at regional circuits. So I'm very excited. Hopefully, there are going to be some more Frank Kids released in the future that will further progress this deck. Overall, I really like the three cards that were released today. And I think this deck's going in, into a good direction. Well, that's everything that was released so far. So hopefully there should be some more support in the future. And remember to have a great day.